Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just on Fan TV, man. Back at you on the video, like the content of this video. Go ahead and smash that like button, like the content of this channel. Go over here and subscribe, man. Look, so I was on Twitter looking around, and um, Calais Campbell, ex Raven, now with the uh, Atlanta Falcons, was talking to Josina Anderson. And since he was on the Ravens, obviously, Josina Anderson decided to ask uh, Calais Campbell's opinion on what's going on with Lamar Jackson right now, all right? And uh, I'm gonna have the, the link to the video that's on Twitter. I'm gonna put it in the comments and put it in the description so you guys can go watch it for yourself. Um, now, one of the first things he said about Lamar Jackson is that he's uh, misunderstood and that he's highly intelligent, football smart, off the field smart, all the things like that. Which things that I believe. I believe Lamar Jackson is a smart and intelligent person. I don't like the whole thing where people are saying, oh, he's dumb for not taking this or that. He believes for what he believes, right? Um, anyway. He does not think Lamar Jackson needs an agent, especially if he's uh, uh, especially if he's comfortable with having the uncomfortable conversations where I could come with having these face to face talks with your general manager. Right. Uh, he says that, you know, he likes to have representation for himself, but he doesn't think Lamar exactly needs an agent. Right. And that's something that I do agree with, because if we look at Jalen Hurst's contract and we look at the contract that Lamar, the Ravens reportedly offered Lamar Jackson, it really ain't no different. So if he can get that contract without negotiating with an agent, then what does he really need one for? Right. Um, also, he said that, um, you know, the only way that the high guarantee numbers like, like a Deshaun Watson type of contract is going to happen is if the QB stand up and push for it. He said the owners are not going to do this out of the kindness of their heart, right? He said the owners are just going to say, wake up one day and be like, you know, let's give all these guaranteed contracts. Players have to push for it. So when Jalen Hurts takes a deal, it hurts. When, um, you know, Joe Burrow is up, when Justin Herbert is up. He said that the quarterbacks, because the quarterbacks are the most important position, this is why I'm assuming he said this, if they don't stand up, it ain't going to happen. Flat out, point blank, period, right? Um, he also said that, you know, he understands why Jalen Hurts took his contract. He said it's a great deal, but at the end of the day, um, you know, he's a quarterback, so that $255 million, while it's all not fully guaranteed, he's likely to see all of that money just because he is a quarterback, right? And I do agree with that point. Quarterbacks getting cut after signing bigger centers doesn't happen very often, so he is likely to see all of that money. Uh, he said that if, they, if quarterbacks like Jalen Hurts, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert were to take on this sort of Odell, that they will be doing it just because of other players in the NFL, right? And that also, lastly, that he said that I believe 100% is that um, NFL owners are absolutely colluding to not give out these high guarantee kind of deals, right? Um, so, yeah, that's the summary of the video. Now, my thoughts on it is exactly kind of align with what Calais Campbell was saying, right? So... When I had put out the initial video, I think, uh, you know, a couple of days ago, talking about Jalen Hurts' contract and Lamar Jackson losing leverage, right? A lot of people took that at, uh, not a lot of people, but a couple of people took that at me saying that Jalen Hurts is just as good as Lamar Jackson. Uh, he got to take this deal because a player better than him got, got this deal. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that the quarterbacks have the singular power to change the contracts in the NFL. If Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert all stood up at the same time and said, look, I am not signing. We are not playing football games until we get this kind of contract. It would change because they are quarterbacks. Like, Calais Campbell is a defensive tackle. Now, all-time great defensive tackle, great, you know, close to 100 sacks. But NFL says, look, man, I can find another guy like you, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, wide receiver shuts down. I can find another wide receiver. I can find another this, another that. Quarterbacks stand up for these kind of contracts. It will change because of quarterbacks. If Deshaun Watson was a wide receiver, running back, cornerback. The free agency friends that we saw, the bidding war that we saw for him would not have occurred. It just wouldn't have happened that way. Because he's a quarterback, it happened, right? Now, obviously, the Browns did something the other teams were willing to do and fully guaranteed a contract. So, all right. But the, the simple point is that, this is what I was trying to say in that video, exactly what Clarence Campbell was saying here, that if a change is going to happen, the quarterbacks need to be the one to push it forward. It has to come from them because why? They are the face of the franchise. When the NFL wants to promote their league, they want to show quarterbacks. That's what they want to show, right? So when you got a Joe Burrow in Cincinnati, he is the he is the franchise. He's the face of the franchise. Obviously, they have great players, Jamal Chase, T. Higgins, on Trey Henderson, on and on and on. But he's the face of the franchise. Justin Herbert, they have great players. You know, you got Khalil Back, Joey Bosa, Keenan Allen. Justin Herbert is the face of the franchise. Jalen Hurts in Philly. Helicopter will we'll be coming right now. But anyway, um, these guys are the face of their franchises. So the only way guaranteed contracts are going to happen is if big time quarterbacks push for them. 
And that's all I was really trying to say with Lamar Jackson and losing leverage, right? Because as more of these deals come along, if Justin Herbert don't take the deal, if Joe Burrow don't take the deal, and, and Lamar Jackson, don't get me wrong, I believe is a better player than Jalen Hurts and especially Justin Herbert, who hasn't really done anything in the NFL as far as uh, winning big-time games, which everybody gets from Lamar Jackson about. Justin Herbert ain't done that. And I don't hear nobody talking about his contract coming up, right? Anyway, with those guys... If they do the status quo and get the regular normal contracts, which they're you know more than likely to do, Lamar Jackson is a one man is one man fighting an uphill battle against the entire NFL ownership, right? There's a reason that nobody's contacting, nobody interested and stuff like that is because they're colluding against not having these high guaranteed numbers. And I'm not saying Lamar Jackson wants a fully guaranteed deal before I get these kind of comments in the uh, in the comment section, right? But if Calais Campbell is saying this, he obviously thinks that Lamar Jackson wants something similar to the to Deshaun Watson's country. So he has to talk to Lamar Jackson. I'm going to put that out there. So he has to talk to Lamar Jackson. But just from the outside looking in, this is his opinion on it. So this is all I've been trying to say is that if somebody's going to change the game for quarterback contracts, it cannot just be one player. Deshaun Watson, yes, he was one player. The Cleveland Browns are one team. There are still... A bunch of other elite quarterbacks. There are still 31 other football teams who are highly against it. So until these are the big guys that are up, until your Jalen Hurts, but he's already taking his deal, to your J Joe Burrows, to your Justin Herberts, to these kind of guys stand up and say, hey, look, man, this is the kind of contract I want. The NFL owners are not going to give it to them out the kindness of their heart, bro. They're billionaires. They didn't get. They didn't become billionaires by giving away money. That's not how they became billionaires. They became billionaires by doing a lot of things that me and you might say are not great actions or not actions of somebody who's morally upstanding. Not saying all billionaires are evil people. I'm not getting into that whole conversation. But what I'm saying is that you attain this certain kind of wealth not by giving it away. So he says that, look, man, this is a, a high uh, a sticking ground for players. This is a, uh, a he called it like a, a battleground, right? Because NFL owners know that because of the injury risk that comes with being an NFL player, they don't want to guarantee fully guaranteed contracts. But NFL players on the opposite side are saying, hey, look, man, I work hard. I put my body on the line. I want to know that that money that I signed on the dotted line for is going to be there for me. So without big time quarterbacks, while big time elite quarterbacks, not, not just your good guys, right? Not just Daniel Jones or, or like Kirk, he said, Kirk Cousins, um, I forgot who else was in this interview. My his name is, uh, his name was Clarence. Uh, I forgot his first name. I mean, his last name, excuse me. He was in the interview. He was saying, well, you know, Kirk Cousins got a fully guaranteed deal, didn't change the game, da 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 right? Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback, right? You know, maybe slightly above, maybe, maybe above average. Maybe not, I won't go as far as he could. He's above average quarterback. Daniel Jones is an average quarterback, right? These kind of guys, if they push those kind of deals, it's not going to matter, right? I mean, Kirk, obviously, Daniel Jones didn't get a fully guaranteed deal. I'm just using these kind of guys as an example. Um, they're not going to matter. It's just, they're, they're not going to be a guy that has a um, a real effect on a team, right? Kirk Cousins, and then the Kirk Cousins number that he got, yes, it was fully guaranteed, but um, I don't want to say only because it's a lot of money, but it was only $84 million compared to $230 million, you know? I mean, Jalen Hurts got more than $84 million at signing. He got $110 at signing, so... You know, the, the guaranteed number that Kirk Cousins got is not anything that's going to shun NFL owners away from, from doing it or giving it out. Um, so, listen, man, that's all I was trying to say before. I think Calais Campbell lays it out perfectly, man. You know, that um, I think Lamar Jackson is smart. I think he's intelligent. I think that he went about this the right way. Like, Deshaun Watson got paid. Um, I want that deal. Or uh, uh, slightly above it, we can, we can figure out the numbers, okay? Um, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson got paid. I don't care about that. I'm better than those guys. All right. But the moment, you know, elite guys get paid and they don't take a Deshaun Watson type of deal, it hurts somebody who's trying to get that kind of deal. All right. That's all I've been trying to say. Um, so when Joe Burrow comes up, uh, we'll see what he does. When Justin Herbert comes up, we'll see what they do. But there's no inclination that they're going to fight for that kind of deal. They're going to get something that's in line with Jalen Hurts, probably above if you're Joe Burrow, probably something similar if you're Justin Herbert. That's just how it's going to go. So Lamar Jackson. I love it. He's fighting up, but he's fighting an uphill battle, fighting a one man battle. Now, at the end of the day, this all could just be a negotiation title for Lamar Jackson. Hey, look, you get me the players I want, or, you know, your DeAndre Hopkins, your uh, uh, Odell Beckham's, right? And then I'll come back, I'll sign whatever, right? That that very well could be it. It could be. You know what I mean? It's very like that. It's very, um, it's a possibility of what I'm trying to say. That that could be the reason, right? But if we're sticking to the money part of it, um, it's simple as, you know, 
NFL owners don't want these kind of deals out, right? And all the reports, and I'm not saying I believe every report because I've been on this channel saying I don't believe everything these insiders say. But these reports keep coming out consistently that he wants something close to a Deshaun Watson kind of deal. And the NFL owners are actively working against that. That's all I've been trying to say for Lamar Jackson. Like, I believe he's a better player than Jalen Hurts. I believe that he's a better, better player than Justin Herbert. But if these guys don't take Deshaun Watson type deals, and Jalen Hurts did not, it's going to hurt Lamar Jackson in the end trying to fight this one man battle, right? Because one man is not going to change the whole league uh, against 31 other billionaires, 32 including the Ravens. They, he's just not going to change it, bro. Not, not by himself at least. So um, if the quarterbacks don't stand up, take charge, and say, hey, look, man, this is what we want going forward, it ain't going to change. That, that was my only point, really. Uh, so I thought it was interesting. Like I said, I'll, I'll put the link to the video um, in the comment section. I'll, I'll make it the pen time. Uh, excuse me, the pen comment. Excuse me. Um, also, I will put it in uh, the description, man. So if you guys want to check it out, listen to what Calais Campbell's thoughts are. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. If you are uh, new here, you know, if you like what, like what this Ravens talk, hit the subscribe button, man. But I'm going to get out of here. It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.